hello guys welcome to my today's tutorial uh, in this video I am gonna show you how we can uh, use RabbitMQ with uh, Spring Boot application uh, to do this tutorial uh, first uh, let's see what we need to uh, what, what are the resources and what are the setups we need to do first uh, actually uh, to uh, who don't know what is RabbitMQ RabbitMQ is a uh, message broker uh, which we mostly use for message queuing purposes. Um, it's it's uh, both a, it's support for uh, both MQTT and MQP protocols. Uh, okay, uh, first uh, we need to download uh, RabbitMQ uh, server. To do that, uh, just type uh, RabbitMQ download. Uh, go to the page and in my case I am using a Windows PC so I am gonna download the uh, Windows uh, version uh, ah, here. okay it's downloading uh, while uh, downloading the RabbitMQ server, we need uh, uh, Erlang. Uh, uh, we need to Erlang programming language, uh, actually SDK to download because uh, RabbitMQ uses this. So before installing the RabbitMQ server, we need to download this setup as well. Since I am using 64 bit, I am uh, downloading the 64 bit version. Oh, yeah, that is also downloaded. Okay, after downloading uh, these two files, uh, Erlang setup and RabbitMQ server, uh, first what we need to do is uh, open the, uh, uh, the Erlang setup, run the Erlang setup. Go next, next, and install. Okay, uh, now we installed the Erlang setup. After the Erlang setup, uh, open the RabbitMQ server setup and install that as well. click next then click install it's very easy to install not much of configurations to do after installing the RabbitMQ server uh, it's automatically getting start uh, as a service uh, here, here you can see RabbitMQ service. Just click on this. It will say it's already already been started. Uh, if you need to, uh, uh, if you need to know what are the queues and uh, how to stop the rabbit uh, rabbit server and how to start the rabbit server uh, to do uh, those things we can use uh, we can use the uh, where is the rabbit or we can use uh, this rabbit MQ command prompt and uh, here we uh, if you need to stop the server you just type rabbit MQ uh, CTL is stop. Yeah, it's a stop in the server. If you need to, if if you need to start, just type start. Uh, 
uh, not this start actually start underscore app okay uh, so uh, what we are gonna do now is uh, we need to create a Spring Boot application uh, since I am using uh, 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 IntelliJ uh, community version I cannot create uh, a Spring Boot application itself so what I am gonna do is uh, I'm gonna uh, open a new bra new uh, tab and uh, just type uh, start dot spring dot io go to this URL from here it is very easy to create a spring project uh, since I am using uh, Gradle uh, here you can see uh, you can select whatever the uh, 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 build tool uh, you prefer uh, since I am I prefer mostly Gradle so I am using Gradle uh, language Java uh, for for group name I am giving the uh, rabbit MQ example rabbit MQ example okay uh, from this section you can download the dependencies which you need for your application uh, since uh, we are gonna uh, create a communication uh, co communicate uh, between spring boot application to rabbitmq we need we need something called a rabbitmq template uh, just type rabbitmq here it shows a sprint for RabbitMQ. Just add that one. And uh, since we are using, uh, since we are gonna use uh, REST controllers, we need uh, a sprint web functionality as well. Add that one also. Then generate the project. Okay. Here we have the project extract it open this from from uh, from whatever id uh, you prefer most uh, mostly i'm using intellij uh, because that's very easy for me uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open my project <coughs> 